Hey everybody, Sherman here with Next Level Training. So glad to have you. Okay, so here's day one of day 30. So everyone has asked me, I mean literally seven out of 10 people, how do I prepare myself for what's next? How do I get myself in a position where my mindset is where it needs to be so I can be most successful? End of the day guys, sustainability is the word that I want us to focus on. So many yo-yo diets, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get your mindset straight, so no matter what you encounter, no matter what comes at you, you're gonna be prepared. First goal, make a commitment. Guys, most people don't make a commitment to themselves. Here's the problem. Let's just say, why have we not gotten ourselves into the right spot? Why? We let life get in front of us, work get in front of us. We say we have a time deficit. So many excuses. The commitment point is that I will find a way to get something done throughout my day. I don't care if it's big, small, it's something. Focus on something, not the amount of time. Something is what needs to start first thing. Second, create tangible, feasible goals. I always tell people, don't make a goal that's associated with weight. Do something that's a little bit more long-term, such as buy that pair of pants that's two sizes too small. Fat loss is more important than weight loss. People focus so much on weight, hormonal scenarios, stress, lack of sleep, lack of hydration can cause your weight to fluctuate. Fat is something that you can always see and it's gonna be a huge motivator. Focus on something that is more sustainable, more permanent. Focus on fat loss. Third, get perfect out of your head. You're gonna have a day that just sucks. Honestly guys, you're gonna wake up, you're in a bad mood, you're tired, you just have a lot going on, and you're not gonna get things done. Most people, when they have that bad day, all of a sudden they have a second bad day, then a third bad day. Focus on just, hey, I'm gonna do the best that I can, and not worry about perfect. Perfect does not happen, that's not a reality. Life will not let you hit perfect. So just understand, there's gonna be good days, as well as bad days. Fourth, start small. Don't have huge goals. Don't say I wanna lose 30 pounds, and there I go, I'm gonna lose five. Focus on five with the understanding that 30 is the end game, but five is your first focus. Make it something that you can get to. The reality is, as soon as you start making that progress, guaranteed something will get in the way. Five pounds is very doable. And once you get there, you're excited for your next five. And then your next five, and then your next five. Stay small. Next, forgive yourself. Why are you here? L listen, it just happened. It could be 10 years, it could be two years, it could be 10 months, doesn't matter. Just forgive yourself and say, you know what? The past is the past. I'm going to allow myself to move forward. Whatever got me here is no longer valid. It no longer has control over me. I'm going to do for me. Just forgive it, just move on. Next, don't stress. Don't stress, guys. The stress is something that can get people totally tied up. I can't hit my numbers. I'm not understanding the macros. I'm not getting it. The stress is what's gonna derail you. Just enjoy it. Every day is a new day. Do not let it take control. And also guys, stress is what helps with weight gain. Relax, enjoy your day, enjoy your life. Next, be mindful of your thoughts. The power of optimism. If you're negative guys, things are gonna happen. If you don't think you can get it done, things are gonna happen, but it won't be the happen that you want. Think about the fact that, listen guys, I get another chance at this. I get an opportunity to be better. I'm excited for where I'm going. This is what I've always wanted to do. That's the mindset you need to have, guys. Not, I missed my mark, I missed my goals, I'm struggling. We're not gonna go there. Focus on today. Here it is, guys. When you wake up, today is gonna have its own challenges. Don't think about yesterday, it's over, can't change it. Definitely don't think about tomorrow. Focus on today's challenges. Focus on what's got in your potential way. Let's move those obstacles out of, the, out of our path and let's just be happy with what we're doing. One step at a time. Don't worry about 10 steps down the road. One step at a time. Next, your relationship with food is a celebration, not a funeral. Anytime I'm getting into macro coaching, everybody is so down about, oh, I gotta get my mind ready. I gotta prepare. I can't eat what I want. I can't do what I used to do. Guys, celebrate the fact I'm going in a place that I've been wanting to get to for a long time. I'm not, I'm not worried about what I used to do. What's the definition of insanity? Want to be different, but yet still do the same things? Guys, what you did got you where you are, so don't hold on to it like it's a great thing. Be glad that it's moving forward and you're doing something different. Be happy, guys. Last and most importantly, remember why you started this journey. 
have remember on your mirror. Big, bold, beautiful, pink, purple, I don't care. Remember on your mirror in the bathroom. Because there's gonna be those days where you're gonna wanna quit and just say, I'm done. Why are you doing this to begin with? Why am I here? Why am I working harder? Why am I trying to eat better? Why am I trying to be different? That is the most important goal of all 10. Guys, just a quick synopsis of how to get yourself into a different frame of mind. Achieve your goals, be better, do better. I'm excited, thank you for those questions. We're going to day two tomorrow. We'll see you, take care.